It's been a while since the last room review, so I thought maybe it's about time that I test another room. And this time it's Evolution X 5.9.1 that I've installed on my Redmi K20 Pro and has used it for the past 3 weeks. I've used it as my daily driver so I know a lot about this room by now and I think it's about time that I let you know as well. Without wasting any time, now let's start this video. Now let's talk about the blotwares. Now as you already know, custom rooms are not shipped with blotwares most of the times. This room is also like that. So no blotwares whatsoever. The only useless application that I found was this stock camera, which in my opinion is good for nothing because you cannot use all your camera lenses that your phone has. So besides that, Everything else is all good to go and no blotwares whatsoever, so you are good in that part. Now let's talk about the customization options. Evolution X also provides one of the best customization options when it comes to custom ROMs. But under this Evolver settings, you can still see that these customization menus are categorized and it appears like normally. All the other ROMs are now opting for the category based like more visually impressive ones which you have in Arrow OS and other OS released custom rooms. These are still basic for now but I am hoping to see those changes happen in future builds. But for now you have this category based like where you have themes and under themes you can select all those options that are related to themes. Then you have status bar under which you can select the network traffic indicator, clock and date, battery bar and all such things related to the status bar. Under notification you can select the ticker policy, heads up notification if you want to set up an artwork for media notification lights, battery lights, always on display and all such things. Then quick settings, you have these toggles that can make it quick, pull down from the right side directly or like smart pull down in case you don't have any dismissible notification then it will just drop down. Vibrate on touch, tiles, rows on portrait, tile rows on landscape and all such things you can change like how many of these tiles should appear in case of portrait and landscape. and QS panel settings are like QS put up settings all these things are there under that and then you have power menu options under which you have the option for system settings where you can turn on cards and passes this setting has been added recently because before you didn't have the option to select your cards and passes in there then you also have this device control which was also there from previous build and then sensitive content if you turn it on it will not let you have access to your power buttons on a locked screen so you have to unlock it in order for you to be able to use that and then advanced reboot option hide unlock screen and such things then under gestures if you go you have system settings under which double tap to sleep is there then tap to check your phone is there quickly open the camera swipe to screenshot and all these options are here and if you go out you have long press for torch automatically turn off the torch after certain specific time that you want and brightness control by sliding over the status bar. You can do all that under gestures. In lock screen you have settings related to lock screen where you can customize your FOD and the settings related to that and the animations. Then under miscellaneous options you have gaming mode under here you have enable game mode, dynamic mode which automatically adds games, disable automatic brightness when you are in gaming mode, notification sections you can select them and then you can even select some specific game drivers. Performance tuning option is also here and you can increase the performance level to 5, 6 is the maximum. So I guess that's gonna overclock. I am not sure how exactly this will work but we will see it in gaming tests. And disable notification alert, no ring and answering calls automatically in gaming mode. You can even disable accidental gestures that might happen if in case you have the gaming mode enabled. Let me go ahead and select PUBG here by opening this. And now I have added this so basically next time I open the game it will automatically enable the gaming mode since I have turned it on through the options. Now all these options are here as well for you to play around. I'm not going to show everything in detail because else it's going to be a very long video. Now let's talk about the camera performance here. As I've already mentioned this Evolution X build also comes with this predefined camera which is pretty useless in my opinion. But if you don't really use camera that much then you can live your days with this camera else you can root your phone in order for this ANX camera to work. Now this is ANX camera 185, you can also install 190 but I didn't want it to go into all that hassle of installing extra packages for 190 to work. So everything works here like portrait mode works, 
48 megapixel also works and video in video you have the option to record up to 4k 60 fps but obviously that makes the stabilization a bit worse but rather than that like rest everything works good 2x ultra wide all of these features work perfectly and front camera also works good so camera wise it's good i leave a couple of shots on your screen right now that you can see and judge the camera performance of anx version 185 on evolution x 5.9.1 on android 11 installed on k20 pro a lot of phones there now let's talk about the battery performance here so battery in this room is also really good because this comes with soviet style kernel and that kernel is quite optimized in my opinion for battery usage so far my battery is like around 39 percent as you can see and the screen on time you can see is five hours and one minute i don't really spend that much time gaming so this stats is not for gaming but it's for usual surfing and youtube so it helps it out also in here you have the adaptive charging and adaptive temperature that you can enable and disable according to your wish and if i show you here the battery usage i only charged a bit in here because i wanted to make sure that this video is made without me running out of the juice but rather than that you can see like yeah it's pretty good battery performance of this rom is also good now let's talk about the gaming performance and for that i have opened pubg now as you know that this pubg which i am opening right now is not the indian variant because i am not in india i have access to this and so i don't think there's going to be any issues with that but with what i meant with gaming mode here was this so you have this small toggle which you can see your battery time date and everything and you can go for power save or performance mode in here depending upon how much juice you have left it's a transparent menu so it's good for you to see the background as well in here you can enable the screen recording option do not disturb lock gesture automatic brightness and screen capture and this small toggle can be moved anywhere across the screen now before i actually start the game let me go ahead and see the settings and check what all graphic options are enabled right now so we have ultra hd enable and for that i need to download it i don't have that downloaded yet so let me quickly download that and return back but we'll see all the other options after that then frame rate here is extreme i remember the last time i played was ultra was not enabled i'm not sure but i think ultra was not enabled but extreme is right now here and then in here we have classic anti-aliasing i will do it on and then colorblind no i'm not colorblind and all these options are enabled so basically we will be able to play the game on high settings let me quickly download ultra hd mode and then return back here a few moments later so now that you see ultra hd is enabled you can select between ultra hd which is like four times building textures and water reflection effects or you can go for smooth i'll choose for this one i think or maybe i don't have an option to choose yeah i don't have the option to choose i guess i'm not sure how this works but i have selected ultra hd and i'm all good to go so now that we are there quickly start the game now if you see on this corner i have enabled the fps counter so we can see what frames per second we're getting and while I am moving my player around this area, I don't see any lag happening. And the frame is around like 39 to 40 frames, like above 40, we are also going above 40. So max frames is so far 41. So this is going to be a short gaming review because obviously this is just to test how good the ROM is doing and I don't want this video to end up being like 20 minutes long. But in here as you can see the frame is above 40 so far and there is not really any lag that I see. That's quite impressive because I remember playing the game on Ultra HD was a big thing back then when we had PUBG. Okay, there is some noise. I might be playing this game after a long time, so I might be shit at it. But we'll see. Oh. Well, there we have it.
Now talking about the performance of the game. So FPS, we were getting mostly around 40, 41 FPS all throughout the game and even being on graphics on Ultra HD and that too on frame rate Ultra. The gaming performance was lag free and stutter free. There were no frame drops and that's I think what I expected from Evolution X. So if you are someone who game a lot or like who's basically a gamer or like professional gamer and if you are looking for a custom room maybe this room might be just for you. And the temperature about this is not that warm at all. It's just usual how you play and battery right now is 34%. So if you're keeping count of the battery you know that it's now 34% you can calculate how much it will. Now let's talk about the bugs present in Evolution X. So there is not like bug free but there are very low bugs as compared to other ROMs that I've tested in the past. For example, fingerprint works really nice on always on display. It always works good when you have notifications but in case you don't have any notifications sometimes it bugs out and that rate is 1 in every 10 times that I unlock my screen it just does not want to unlock so I have to use my pin for that. And same thing works when you are opening a logged application here like this time it worked but once in a while it will bug out and then you have to either lower your notification down and then use the fingerprint to, in it, to unlock it properly or you just have to use the pin that you have entered to unlock the phone because it's a bit annoying right there. Second bug, I would not say bug but maybe it might be a feature. Oh yeah, here, check. I'm trying to unlock and it's not unlocking. So this is one of those times that it's not gonna unlock whatever you do. So that's the fix. Now second thing as I was saying is can be a bug, might not be a bug but when you open this recorder application, let me quickly delete this and you press on record as you can see now here it says pixel 5 and as I am talking you will not see any ripples because by default this is a setting and you will not be able to record anything any audio unless you tap on it and click on phone mic and then whatever you will see is gonna be recorded after that so I think by default it should be on phone mic but if you want to record something and for example you want to do that and you don't know about this thing you will end up losing whatever you wanted to record because that happened with me and that's how I encountered this bug. But rather than that, rest everything works fine in this room. Like these are the two bugs that I've found. On that note, I will end today's video. If you guys enjoyed watching it or you found it helpful, don't forget to leave your valuable like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do that by clicking on subscribe. If you have any questions, any queries, any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be catching you guys next time with another really interesting video. Watch the background, enjoy, relax and I'll be catching you guys next time. Until then, you take care of yourself and stay happy. Peace.